So I've seen a lot of people milling on drill presses, but in my digging I never really found a quill lock that I quite liked. So up here I've done something pretty similar to a standard Bridgeport quill lock. So what I did in here is I, um, oh, focus, there we go. I drilled out a hole uh, next to the next to the quill. And I took the die grinder to it and um, made a little rectangular pocket and I, I silver soldered together these two chunks of uh, copper and I have a hole through it, uh, a uh, um, slightly oversized hole for an M6 bolt and then the other side is threaded to M6 and then I uh, what I did is I put that in there without my quill inside and marked the inside. I, uh, I, I took the grinder to it till it was that shape. Um, and what you can do if you want this to fit really good, I didn't really spend as much time as I should have, um, but if you want it to fit really good, what you can do is take a, a sharpie on there and sharpie the inside of it, or you can use, you know, the proper stuff, the, um, the blue, the Prussian blue and then slide this back and forth while pressing on here and that'll give you sort of, you know, uh, high spots to file down. But I don't really do that. It worked okay without it. Um, you just put that through there. Oh, and by the way, this hole in the back, there's a hole that goes all the way, you can't really see it, but um, there is a hole. This, uh, this bolt goes not just straight to the end there. You can, if you line it up, it'll go a little bit deeper. And that'll keep it from uh, pushing, from tilting this at an angle and pushing it back. Um, so if you chuck that in there, and you thread that through and tighten it all the way down, um, you can uh, get that quill locked pretty tight. So there's a quill lock. Hope it comes in handy if you're milling tool steel on an old drill press.